Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're going to talk about the hot topic on AI and gaming that's called the kill switch. So what is even the kill switch? It is a mechanism, hardware or software that can remotely disable a system or a device. Think of it as a digital off switch that someone other than the user can activate. You must have encountered this on your everyday life. For example, if you lose your iPhone, if somebody steals your car, there are procedures to shut down. The purpose of a kill switch is often to provide security or control. However, it raises a critical question. If a third party, let's say a company or a government, can disable a device, do you truly own it? This is where the controversy begins, because the very existence of a kill switch can create a vulnerability that hackers could exploit. If a powerful entity can remotely control a device, it can be a tool of surveillance or even sabotage. And this brings us to the main topic, because the Cyber Administration of China recently accused NVIDIA of having a potential backdoor security risk. They were essentially worried that these chips once sold they could be remotely tracked or disabled by an outside party. Now, NVIDIA's chief security officer, David Rebel, responded with a strong statement on a big blog post that was titled No backdoors, no kill switches, no spyware. He argued that embedding a kill switch into a chip is a permanent flaw and an open invitation to disaster. Reber emphasized that such a feature would undermine global digital infrastructure and he made an excellent analogy saying that it's like buying a car where the dealership keeps a remote control for the parking brake. Now you have to understand that this debate is not about a single product, but it is about the future of technology and security. I wouldn't like it, for example, as Reber said that the dealership would have an off switch for my car. I mean, they already do. There are some cars, I don't want to say the brand, that if they get stolen, you just call them and then they deactivate the SIM card inside the car, so then the car loses some of its functionalities. And also it makes it easier for the, for the police to track the stolen car. But what it also does that many of you do not know, and I know because I've worked there, is that it also disables you as an owner of a car to track your car. Now this is for security reasons, because probably you shouldn't go after the thief, for example, maybe he's more dangerous than you, but still, it does not allow you to go after your car. The kill switches are not a new thing. This debate is being aired now because Nvidia is actually the target of this attack, let's say, but it is for many, many more products that we can ever think of. Now, what is your opinion on it? Should the kill switch be incorporated in the future of technological products or not? I'm waiting for your comments down on the comment section. And as always, stay safe and have fun. See you next time.